Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are at Little Caesars and we're trying out some of their new menu items. They are their Crazy Puffs. Look how good those look. I was out to eat the other day and on the TV I saw the commercial and I'm like, oh yeah, we need those. Little Caesars is so good. I had it for the first time like last year. I feel like it's definitely underrated. Not many people talk about Little Caesars, but it's good and it's cheap. So I got the pepperoni crazy puffs, the cheese and herb crazy puffs. I got a stuffed crust pepperoni pizza and then some garlic parmesan Caesar wings. And then I also saw that they had some dessert. So we did the cookie dough brownie m m little chocolate bar things and then also some crazy bread of course which is their breadsticks with marinara sauce so all of that came to 35 dollars so this little caesars has a drive through like okay that's what i like to see that is what i like to see my camera tripod just broke finally this thing needed a break for me to order a new one because this would always like it was like somewhat cracked and it would always i have a pickup for stephanie stephanie mm-hmm Thank you. No problem. Have a great night. You too. Oh, yummy. Delish. Smells so good. Okay, this is the best we can set up the camera. Gotta move my little plant and also look how cute this air freshener is. My boyfriend got me. So cute because he said my car stunk. <laughs> he cleaned out my car for me and then we like can't get this one smell out. I, I think it's gone now, but... You know, when you mukbang in your car, it does get a little stinky sometimes. And I do keep my car really clean. But I spilled the McDonald's chocolate milk down there. And yeah, the smell kind of lingered for a while. But yeah, isn't that air freshener cute? But yum, I'm excited. Let's see what these crazy puffs look like. Oh, they have it like taped and sealed. I like how they do that. Cute. So they're like little individual pizzas. They're kind of like egg bites from Starbucks. That's what they look like, but they're pizzas. So there's the pepperoni ones. And then here are the cheese. Ooh, the cheese look really, really good. Don't those look amazing? And then, honestly, this camera angle might be better because you can see like what I set right here. Garlic parm wings. Oh wow, so this is like the chocolate bar. It's like literally just like in a little pasta wrapper. Cookie dough brownie Twix, yum. And then our big container of crazy sauce. I love how they give you this big tub, love it. And then of course the pizza. We got some pepperoni za with stuffed crust. Gorgeous, wow. <laughs> Okay, I think I want to start off with a breadstick with some marinara. Little Caesars is really a good deal. You get a lot. Oh, look how skinny this one is. <laughs> what? I'm going to choose a thicker one. Yeah, we like thick ones. This Little Caesars has a one star rating. Like every single one around me, because I was trying to pick one that had like a good rating, they all were like one stars. And then I started looking up other fast food places and they're like all one stars. Like they're rated so bad. Mmm. So the other day I door dashed some pasta. One of my favorite pastas has like microwavable sausage in it though. But it was pasta with a breadstick and some mashed potatoes. And I ate it. And after that, it gave me horrible stomach problems. Horrible. And then I also threw up. Horrible stomach problems. I could not leave the bathroom. And I don't know if it was like food poisoning or what it was. If the food was just old because I did door dash it at like 10 at night. I don't know what the issue was, but it was not good. Not good at all. <laughs> and then yesterday, you would think like 
oh if something made you sick you don't want to eat it again then yesterday I had some pasta and look at me today because I was thinking I'm like am I just like slightly allergic to red sauce does red so sauce just like hurt my stomach because of all the acidity and I already get terrible heartburn too so I, I was thinking it was just the red sauce and then here I am again You guys, ever since I started taking those prenatal vitamins, I feel like my hair is actually growing. And my hair grows so, so slow. Like when I got my extensions out, I think it like broke off lots of my hair. I know I got some questions about that. Yes, I do think the extensions damaged my hair a bit. When I got them off, I was like, what? This is all the hair I have? But now it's getting so thick. And I really think it's from the prenatals. It's been like probably a month and a half since I started taking them. I think they're working. Mm -mm -mm. Let's try one of these. But, yeah, I do think the extensions just weighed down my hair a lot and broke lots of my hair off and thinned it out because the extensions were really heavy. Like, it was a lot of hair on my head, so I do think it did a little bit of damage to my hair, but we are on a hair care growth journey right now and I'm already seeing progress, so I'm excited about that. Wow. Biting into that. It was like biting into like a pool of grease and like butter. <laughs> it like squirted it out into my mouth. These are good. I feel like these would be really good for like a kid because they're easy to eat and you just pick them up or even like a party too. It is good. Let's see if we like the pepperoni one better. So this is my lunch for today. And then I have to go home, change, get my paperwork ready. And I'm going to finish up doing my taxes today. So I'm meeting with my tax guy. And then after that, I'm going to Pilates. Which I'm so excited. I like, abs I absolutely love going. It's so much fun. Mmm. So the pepperonis are like in there. I do think I like the cheese ones better. It's good though. So I've been going to Pilates like three, four times a week and I am so glad I found something that I really enjoy doing working out wise because going to the gym for me is just extremely boring. I don't like doing that. I love walking the dogs, which once it's a little warmer, I take the dogs on walks pretty much every single day. I love taking them for walks. It's just so much fun and 
Pilates is just a blast and I think it's because it kind of reminds me back when I did cheer and dance because everything is like on a routine like everyone's doing the same stuff in the class small classroom you get to know your instructor and you're being like told what to do there's music it's just fun let's have a piece of pizza so I'm glad I found like a workout that I really enjoy doing so I have one class today and it's in like a heated room it's like 95 degrees and it's basically like a cardio class and it's a little different than just Pilates like on the machine You're just on a mat and then you have like weights on your ankles and you just do a bunch of like cardio and core workouts and all things like that like my legs will be shaking so bad like I feel like I'm gonna tip over when I'm in that class mm, I love pizza little baby cousin just got baptized on Palm Sunday it's my palm my boyfriend turned it into a cross isn't that cool I just have that sitting in my car I need to bring that inside but yeah my little baby cousin got baptized it was so cool to see I've that was my first baptism I've ever like seen I don't have many young kids in my family But it was very good getting together with everyone. Mm. And soon my boyfriend and I are going on a little trip together, just like a long weekend trip. Super excited. You guys will definitely see pictures on my Instagram and stuff. But it should be very nice and relaxing. The weather in Ohio has just been so back and forth. Like, we just went golfing not too long ago, which I'm trying to get really good at golf this year. But I'm not the best yet. But not too bad. I've gone like four times so far. But like last week, I was in a dress golfing, and then two days ago it snowed. <laughs> forgot the crust was stuffed. Mm. Stuffed crust is just so good. Last time I had stuffed crust was my last video. I think it was from Papa John's. I'm like, why have I never gotten stuffed crust before? But they also have stuffed crazy bread here, which is like kind of like this. Like, I feel like this is exactly what it would taste like. Mmm. That's some good cheese in there. I'm going to use this whole cup of marinara sauce.
But yeah, I can't wait to go on a little trip. It's just gonna be us two. And it's gonna be so nice just to relax and be in the sun. I cannot wait. I love the beach. Like, I am thinking at some point, At some point, I think I'm gonna wanna move somewhere warm. Like maybe, I don't know when, but sometime in the future, I could see myself moving to like Charlotte or like Florida or somewhere like that. And keeping like a condo here in my hometown or something and then like just renting it out when I'm not there and then I can come home and like visit family and everything whenever I want to I just wish like you could just take everyone you hang out with everyone you grew up with your friends family just everyone you could just like take them all and move them with you you know like just pick up everyone and go because I know you could like you know start a new life and make new friends and stuff but your friends that you've had like forever, especially your like family too, like those will always just be like your number one. So I just wish I could like take everyone and move. Cause this like weather is just so exhausting. <laughs> like, and cause when it's snowy here, there's really nothing to do. It's not like we have that many places to go snowboarding. We have to either drive to like Pennsylvania or New York. Like when it's winter here, there's not much to do. Like the only thing really to do around here in winter time is like just hang out at like your friend's house or go out to dinner. Go out to dinner. That's like it. And then like bowling, which I do like bowling, but you can only go bowling so many times. I remember their wings being so good. It's the sauce on them. That's like actual like garlic butter sauce just dumped on top. But like when summer comes around, I do like it here. You know, you could go boating and go swimming in pools and all of that fun stuff. Go just, you could do so much stuff when it's warm out. So much more stuff. You could just go hang out at a park or like go sit by the water. But like if you lived like by the beach, you could do that all year round, you know? I know it gets a little bit cooler, but not as cold as here. I just would worry about like, like natural disasters with the water. That stuff's scary. I can't even swim too well. Fun fact about me, I can't swim well. If I like jump off a boat, I can swim back to the boat, but I cannot just like swim and tread the water. Is that what it's called, tread the water? I can't float, I actually sink. Like I've tried so many times to float on my back and like I'm completely relaxed too. Like it's not cause I'm like nervous, I'm gonna sink. I just seriously like sink, I don't know. I've always had like, I've. I never did swimming classes or anything like that, which I feel like lots of kids do do swimming lessons. I feel like that's a good thing to to learn how to know how to do. But yeah, I can't swim. My camera's running out of storage. It keeps stopping. Let's try this little dessert bar. Wow. Now that is good. Cookie dough on top of a brownie. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, how I love cookie dough. I just love cookie dough. And movie theater popcorn. I've not been to the movie theater in over five months. I have like the movie membership. It's like $12 a month and you get a free movie ticket. Well, not free, but you pay for it. You get a movie ticket, then you always get 20% off concession stand. And then if you don't use your movie ticket, it rolls over to the next month, which is like nice. So I have five movie tickets now in my account. Because I haven't been in the movies in that long. I feel like there's been no good movies out. If anyone has any recommendations, let me know, please. Because I have been, like, craving movie theater popcorn. And I just like going to the movies. But there's been no movies I want to see. What time is it? My car clock is still has not been changed since the time change it won't let me change it I have no idea why it just says this function is not available I'm like okay thank you Well, I would say the Crazy Puffs are really good. I like the cheesy ones more. I feel like that's like a good little meal for a younger kid. Because I used to always get like the personal pizzas when I was younger. I feel like those a, a younger kid would like. I prefer just eating like a pizza. I want the whole slice. But I'm going to cut this video off here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Trying out some new menu items. Let me know what your favorite menu item is from Little Caesars down below. But I love you all so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.